Cracking down on vaping in the next 90 days, the Food and Drug Administration will begin cracking down on the electronic cigarette industry. The new regulations unveiled today detail who can and cannot buy e-cigs. And News Channel 5's Michelle Casada is live from a vape shop in downtown West Palm Beach with how customers will be impacted. Michelle. Michael, well, most electronic cigarette shops already have these signs on the door. In Florida, if you're under 18, you can't legally buy e-cigarettes. Now, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is also cracking down on that age limit. The FDA announcing today that if you're under 26, you have to show an ID if you're going to buy an e-cigarette. Now, anti-tobacco advocacy groups say it's time people know what ingredients are in the vape oils. They are embracing these regulations. At Downtown Vapes on Clematis Street, all custom-made vape oils have labels listing the ingredients. Most made with vegetable glycerin, propylene glycol, artificial flavoring, and nicotine if it includes it in the oil. The owner of Downtown Vapes disagrees with the FDA categorizing the e-cigs as tobacco products. The American Lung Association says these regulations will provide transparency for the users and public experiencing secondhand vaping. The American Lung Association welcomes this long overdue common sense regulation to protect our kids and the public from the dangers of all tobacco products. You know, we don't see as a fair comparison because the, the nicotine may be derived from tobacco, but it doesn't have any of the any of the qualities of tobacco. It doesn't have the combustion. Manufacturers will have 90 days to start the application process, and again, that will cost about $1 million for each product they register with the FDA. Now, all the products that aren't registered in the next year or so will be banned from being sold. Reporting live from downtown West Palm Beach, Michelle Casada, WPTV News Channel 5.